What's up, everybody? Welcome back to a wonderful Wednesday. So we got some exciting things to talk to you about today. But first, I have to say, where's all of my gym stars? What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Bree Easy, a.k.a. First for the Salon, B.K.A. The People's Champion. So today, we have, uh, well, I have two things that I want to talk to you guys about. First, you know, we talked about Lizzo doing the whole uh, twerking in her dress with the booty cut out yesterday. And so, apparently, she done went on YouTube and did this whole thing, and she's saying that people are body shaming her. This is not a body shaming issue. This is about having the, uh, being at the wrong, how should I say it? This is about having the wrong outfit at the wrong time, at the wrong place. It that's was, uh, that's all a time it and a place it's, for everything, yeah. and this was neither. This has nothing to do with your figure, and like I said, it could have been Beyonce out there, and I would still say the same thing out there. So, Liz, don't make this a body shaming issue. This is a inappropriate issue. So yes. apparently the Staples Center has banned Lizzo. Not only did they ban Lizzo, they also banned, um, what's his name? Joe the Kush? Something? Joe Kush? Joe Kush, I guess. I, Joe don't Kush. I don't know who he is, but apparently he is known for his uh, money, money shower tour. So he was also at the Lakers game on Sunday just throwing money into the crowd and you know they banned him and Lizzo from there. How long? I don't know. I guess they body shame him too, right? They money shamed them. Money <laughs> <Get it>? shamed <laughs> <laughs> But anyway, so that's enough for the entertainment part. On to NBA news. Now, I'm not giving you the 2K news like Jay gives it, but this is the NBA news. So, Scottie Pippen was asked if uh, Luca from the Mavericks and Michael Jordan, are they just... Comparable. Are they, yeah, are they comparable? Sky Pippen said, until Luca gets six rings, or, yeah, six rings or six yeah. titles, yeah, six rings, then we could probably talk about it. But right now, no. But, you know, they're being compared because Luca has been averaging triple doubles in almost every game this season or yeah, close to almost yeah, every Yeah, really close. Yeah. He's close. So, uh, guys, what do y'all think? Do you think? Oh, and he also passed his record. He passed a record on Sunday, one of Michael Jordan's records on Sunday. Yeah, I think it's like the, the, the most... 30 point games or most 20 point games at, at that time in his career or something. But Luca is younger though, so I mean, yeah. Mike came in the league when he was like 21, 22. Luca was like 18, 19. Of course he's going. It's just like LeBron James breaking all these records. But LeBron came in, he was 18 years old, barely, barely 18. So not saying that LeBron didn't break, but. He had more time to break the records. That's all. I got you what you're saying. So anyway, let us know what you think down in the comments. Do you think we should be making comparisons with Luca and Michael Jordan right now? Or nah, not quite. Drop your thoughts below and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Rip City t shirt. Oh, yeah, don't forget these Rip City t shirts are in the store. Use the code SAVE now. I know it's going to ask you to sign up for an email. If you don't want to do that, get to the checkout and just type the code SAVE now and you're going to be able to save on any shirt that's in the store. But go ahead, get yours today. Bye. Hey, you ain't gone yet. Uh, you I'm ain't not... going to get out Oh, of yes. I'm oh, sorry. I'm oh, sorry. Okay, so. Bring it today. We're gonna call this one um Wait way right. back Wednesday. Someone said they wanted to see Pam Grier in the comments, so we kind of had to find someone. We was gonna go with Earth to Kit, but they're not really in the same age range or whatever. And rest in peace, Earth to Kit. But so today we're comparing Pam Grier, known as Foxy Brown, and Felicia Rashad, known as your favorite TV mom. At least she's my favorite. TV mom. Oh, Still whatever. favorite TV mom, too. Yeah. So, like I said, once again, we got two beautiful women. We got Pam Greer, and we got Felicia Rashad. Well, Felicia Rashad, fine. Now, damn she, yeah. she don't even look like she's aged like a day in her life outside of, you know, what you expect to look like when you get older. That's about it, but facial features, everything the same. See what happens when you're not augmented? Just saying. Ooh, no saying. <laughs> but anyway, jump down below. Two things. Talk about the uh, Michael Jordan and the Luca comparison and let us know who you with, Pam Girl or Felicia Rashad. Now I'm out. Peace. Get out my seat. Oh. Get out my seat. All right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is. A lot of, lot of get to a little bit. It's going to be 12 minutes today. Yes, sir. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BKA the People's Trump, coming to you live with another video. Boy, I am fresh from... Ooh. 
<laughs> anyway, look here, man. We got a, a few topics to get to. First of all, if you didn't watch my best jump shot video, the greenest jump shot in the game, according to NBA 2K Labs, go check that out. Also, you need to be following me on Twitter. It's a cornucopia of goodness. You need to be following me on Instagram. We need to boast of these numbers so I can monetize it one day and, uh, and, and, and you know, do all this stuff, man, because I'm broke, man, I'm broke. So, you know, y'all do that for me. Follow me on there. That's the best place. Honestly, to be real, those are the best places to get in touch with me. If you got some NBA 2K news, if you want to make me aware of something, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram. You can uh, message me on there, tweet at me, do all that stuff. That's the best way to get in touch with me. And uh, like I said, we do want to get those up, get those numbers up, man. I don't even think you can monetize them joints. I was really just joking. Anyway, speaking of Twitter, Hawks Talent Gaming is giving away this beautiful controller now this is a beautiful scuff vantage controller looks familiar don't it you're damn right it does because i have one this scuff vantage controller is one of the best controllers money can buy especially if you like to play with the xbox style controller on the playstation but this is a team branded scuff vantage controller and it's actually pretty easy to, to do the team branding especially for these because let me show y'all real quick the top face plate comes off so you can take the top face plate off at any time it's held in place by magnets but um so it looks like they just they took that part off had it painted had it dolled up and then you know it's it's hawk talent uh g game game and uh branded if i got more views and if i had if i was more popular i'm sure that they would have me streaming for them and repping for the hawks talent gaming but i'm irrelevant in the community so uh but Black Dynamite, you're irrelevant in the community. So I'm irrelevant in the community. Everybody just, you know, watch all my videos and steal all my stuff, but not y'all. The, the, the people don't, it's the, the creators and stuff. Uh, it's funny though that all the creators watch me and they don't admit it until, you know, except for a few real people like Bass Plug and Joe Knows, everybody else watch me and don't admit it. But then I see my stuff surface back in their videos and then, but you know, it is what it is, man. So like I said, Hawks Talent Gaming, um, they're giving away this controller. All you have to do, go to the post, retweet the post, follow them on Instagram, tag a friend, and then you do the same thing on uh, do the same thing on um, on Instagram. Follow them on Instagram, like the post, tag somebody on there. I'm gonna start posting a lot more on Instagram and and uh, Twitter because I want you guys to be more involved in everything I do and just be able to see what I do, uh, you know, on a day-to-day -day basis. So, man, y'all make sure y'all follow me on Instagram and Twitter today. We're going to be hitting the gym. I'm going to be playing ball. I'm going to be posting some stuff like that and just random stuff like, like, I think what I'm going to do is like, instead of, instead of doing a uh, gym all the time or just whatever, I'm just going to be like, just talking to y'all. Like some days I just like to talk to people. It's therapeutic for me. And I'm just going to talk on my story about what I'm going through, how I'm feeling that day, blah, blah, blah. I see a lot of people do it. It seems pretty dope. So I'm going to try it out. And then I'm going to try to, you know, tweet to death and uh, do this stuff like Duke Dennis do. Just, just anything on my mind. We're going to try to get everything lit. It's lit at the night show. Ooh, up next. Ugly sweaters is in the stove. I say ugly sweaters is in the stove hole. And for some reason, it don't wanna, it don't wanna do what I want. It not hey, switch! There you go. Hey, cap! Cap! Now we done already damn near replaced you with Bridget. Now your ass is gonna be fired. Anyway, check it out. Ugly sweaters are lit at the night show. Ooh, check it out. We got running 2K, the ugly sweaters are now in the store, and it looks like we got the ugly shorts too. Uh, but look, the ugly sweaters are in the store. Look at them running, leaning back, looking like a candy cane on them, boy, but them Jordans is fire. And then, uh, you know, you got the mistletoe, but uh, I won't be wearing this. Uh, some, of, some of the sus people might be wearing it because they want somebody to kiss them under the mistletoe. Y'all can infer what's actually under the mistletoe, but I'm cool with that. So anyway, <laughs> what? Look at this, it's a sweater of mistletoe. So under the sweater of mistletoe, man, I'm cool on that. Anyway, what, man? Wow. Hey, look, man, look, it, it's, 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 this, this is not for kids. YouTube, this show is not for kids. So don't try to demonetize me. But anyway, and y'all don't even know about that. But uh, look, we got the ugly sweaters here. And uh, you know, it just is what it is, man. If y'all want to check out the ugly sweaters and you think the sweaters are not as ugly as you think they are, I mean, y'all, y'all like a lot of them things anyway, man, a lot of, a lot of uh stuff um in the whole thing bro why do people bombard ronnie as soon 
as he puts this stuff out though look at this those look familiar i don't know facts is the same as it's the same but you guys think what you want uh still not uglier than the service bro it'll be lit if you get fired bro y'all come on man the same stuff but cheaper and then <laughs> bro y'all gotta leave these guys alone man come on man they put the f you runny up there and Oh, then they put the shut up. Man, come on, man. Wow. Did y'all do this? The clown post? Bro, y'all got to leave running alone, man. What, what are they saying for the boondocks? Wow. Let me see. I'm with screws. Boy, y'all boys going to admit to. Y'all boys is not right. Bro, that's messed up, man. Y'all shouldn't do these guys like that, man. Because the people are doing the best that they can running on program there, man. Y'all can't be just, just going in on running. Anyway, NBA Players of the Week, man. Uh, we got the Jimmy Butler and Anthony Davis. They the Players of the Week. And, uh, you know, cop those jerseys, man. In the 2K store, spend yet more VC. But uh, with them being the Players of the Week, bro, unreal numbers. Jimmy Butler this week, they the Co-Players of the Week. Uh, 27.5 points, 9 rebounds, and 8 assists a game with 1.3 steals, and they won 3 and lost 1. Anthony Davis, a perfect 4 and 0. Oh, 35 points a game, 8 rebounds, 2.5 assists, and 2 blocks a gim! A gim! 2.5 blocks a gim! Boy, them boy been balling, boy! Them boy been balling! Hey, hey, let me stop playing, man. That's what my, that's what my, hey, from the chop. That's from my Chuck down, folks. Man, you from the Chuck? Let me know down in the comment section. Them boys been balling, boy. Hey, they was really hooping, man. But look, like I said, man, cop them jerseys. They in the store if you want to. Uh, up next, Pro Boy Sin. He put an awesome video out. Message to the devs. They're going to hate me. This is his 2K21 wish list. Now, Sam was saying that he wants to, he, he puts his 2K21 wish list out now because. He knows that normally, by the time we put our uh, wish list, our wish lists out, normally by the time we actually put those out and get them out, everything is already too um, it's already too late, in most cases, right? Like it's it's already over with. We're putting something out. The game is finished and all of that. So he's saying he wants to start the trend of putting out the wish list, the wish list now, so that we can get these things in the game now. Uh, and, and you know, this is actually a time where they can actually add them, I and that's an awesome idea. I would go with that same thing, but everything I ever say that actually makes a lot of sense somehow makes it into the game. Ever since NBA 2K16, when I commented that centers should not be able to get all the dribble moves, and that dribble moves should be locked off by um, dribble moves should be locked off by ball handling, and that miraculously made it into the next game. And then in 2K, um, in 2K18, I was like, well, shooting shouldn't be the same for everybody. You know, centers shouldn't be able to get no 94-3. And then miraculously, that made it into the game. And then 2K19, it's like all the stuff that I be saying, man, it, it miraculously makes it into the game anyway. But but it's, it could be because I say things that actually make sense. So, you know, and, and they're, they're pretty easy to implement because locking off centers from every dribble move in the damn game wasn't hard and they never should have had it in the first place. But, you know, little stuff like that that I always say it seems to make it into the game anyway. So that's why I never do a wish list video because it, a lot of the stuff that I want to see in the game are just tweaks and things like that. But, uh, you know, go watch that video. That's an awesome video that um, that he did. And it's, and it's, and it's and you know, it's great, man. And we're already over 14 minutes. Damn. And now, last but not least, this is why you should not be bashing Ron and 2K, man. We're going to celebrate him today, man. He said he read this, and it touched my heart. And, uh, you know, hope to make your wildest dreams come true tomorrow, man. And uh, this is a little boy from the Make-A-Wish Foundation. And he wrote them a letter. And he probably has some type of, um, you know, he, he could have, he could have, Bro, and you still put this on here? Hey, you a bitch. And it ain't nothing else to it, B. Gonzalez. You are a bitch. Like, like how you gonna put something like that on? Like, are you just, do you just have this? Do you, do you, do y'all just have like automatic, like anytime he puts something up, 
You just put some, hope this touches your heart the same way. Like, are you serious? Like, you got to be the biggest bitch in the world to do something like this. This is a kid that has a ton. This is a Make-A-Wish Foundation. This is a kid that has a terminal disease who ain't going to live past, uh, possibly ain't going to live past, you know, the next year or so. And your sorry ass life is still here. And you going to put something like that on the post like this? Are y'all serious? Do y'all really, like, what type of lifeless degenerates are you fucking people in the 2K community? It's just like man, man said, bro, y'all really ain't shit. Like, this kid has a terminal disease, and the only thing he says is 2K is his favorite game. 2K is his favorite game, and this is the only game he plays, and the only thing he wants to do is meet the staff and uh, show them his skills and, and, and make some new friends at the 2K headquarters. And hey, and, and look here, his name William Floyd. Hey, William Floyd was a hell of a running back for the... Uh, for the uh, 49ers, boy, that boy, could, that boy could run that pill. He used to be toting the mail. But anyway, that's all he says. He wants to meet new people, meet the people at 2K, meet the developers, and just, that's his wish. This is this could be his final wish. We don't know how much time he got. If you watch the, the, um, if you watch the ESPN Make-A-Wish stuff, and when they do that stuff, it's like, it's like the Make-A-Wish Foundation. If you can watch the My Wish, I have to turn the channel when they do that because I end up crying all the time. Somebody just mis mis mysteriously come in there and start just cutting onions. If you got kids or anything like this and you realize they can be touched by a terminal disease or an incurable disease and there's nothing you can do about it and the best you can do is put fuck you running on this video, you're a straight up bitch. I wish I could catch you in the street. I'd slap your bitch ass. That's so stupid, man. Like, do you realize you got to be a real low life degenerate to do something like this? on something like this and then y'all just sit here like ronnie playing a put guy uh, i knew i knew he was like bro like what type of low life did you, like this this stuff right here make you not even want i see why fredo was like i don't want to be part of the 2k community anymore because no matter what you do no matter what you do it ain't gonna be good enough there's no place for stuff like that in this world at all none like this is somebody i'm gonna block this dude and I don't even know him. You, that's, they got no place. But anyway, like I said, man, I got myself upset this morning. And now we passed 12 minutes because of this bitch ass dude. Anyway, man. Anyway. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> anyway, hit the store up. Cop some merch. We're going to have, uh, we're going to put a new widget up there where, where I got a, I got a bigger printer, a 18 by, um, a, a 19 by 13 printer. So we can print, do full screen prints and all types of stuff on your shirts and we can cut things out and all that good stuff, man. So, um, I'm going to put a widget on this, on the, on the site where you can have anything that you want put on a shirt. So if you want a face or something like that, you'll be able to pick your shirt color. You'll be able to upload your picture and then we'll print that on a shirt for you. If y'all like that idea, let me know. And uh, hey, if B. Gonzalez is a bitch, y'all put that down and say, this is the only time we gonna, we gonna really uh, allow cursing down in the comments. Hey, yeah, he's a bitch. But anyway, we gonna end on a good note, man. We gonna say, uh, look, Foxy Brown, Felicia Rashad. Foxy Brown or Felicia Rashad. Y'all let me know down in the comments, man. And I'm gonna holler at y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Godspeed!